join me in the entrance verse, down on page five of your missalettes. The Lord said, I have had thoughts of peace and not of affliction. You will call upon me, and I will answer you, and I will be back your captives from every place. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred name. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, pray, pray for me, the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayers. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <laughs> reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. In those days I, Daniel, heard this word of the Lord. At that time there shall arise Michael, the great prince, guardian of your people. It shall be a time surpassed, unsurpassed in distress since nations began until that time. At that time your people shall escape, everyone who is found written in the book. Many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Some shall live forever. Others shall be an everlasting horror and disgrace. But the wise shall shine brightly like the splendor of the firmament. And those who lead the many to justice shall be like the stars forever. The word of the Lord. Amen. Our responsible song. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You are my inheritance, O Lord. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Therefore my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence. Because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. You are my inheritance, O Lord. 
You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. You are my inheritance, O Lord. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, every priest stands daily at his ministry, offering frequently those same sacrifices that can never take away sins. But this one offered one sacrifice for sins and took his seat forever at the right hand of God. Now he, await, he waits until his enemies are made his footstool. For by one offering he has made perfect forever those who are being consecrated. Where there is forgiveness of these, there is no longer offering for sin. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Be vigilant at all times and pray that you have the strength to stand before the Son of Man. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus said to his disciples, In those days after that tribulation, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, and the stars will be falling from the sky, and the powers in the heavens will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And then he will send out the angels and gather his elect from the four winds, and from the end of the earth to the end of the sky, learn a lesson from the fig tree. When its branch becomes tender and sprouts leaves, you know that summer is near. In the same way, when you see these things happening, know that he is near at the gates. Amen, I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But of that day or hour, no one knows, neither the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Feels good and makes you wake you up in the morning. Uh, as you are aware, this week we start our uh, Eucharistic mission, in which a priest will come at six o'clock at night, and for one hour he will expose the Blessed Sacrament upon the altar, and during that hour, for as long as that priest chooses, he will give a talk. Uh, about an aspect of the Eucharist. I myself will be in the confession in case during the times of silence uh, someone wants to go to confession, I'll be there and available. We've extended that invitation to uh, different parishes, in fact, to every parish around the area, Catholic Church. We, we invited people to come. This is something nice that we can offer. And so I would like to begin this week of focusing solely on the Eucharist with a reflection today, an introduction reflection to the Eucharist. And I'll begin with a statement that I, I took from a prologue. The prologue comes from the book Calvary and the Mass by uh, <coughs> Venerable Archbishop Fulton J. Sheen. And he said something that I guess it affected me because losing my mother this summer. I know others have lost their mothers. The one line jumped out at me. He said this. He said, 
There are certain things in life which are too beautiful to be forgotten, such as the love of a mother. Hence, we treasure her picture. And that jumped out because there are things in life that we consider very valuable, very sacred. Because they meant something to us. And it's not just pictures. It could be certain items. My, my word. When I was home last, my father gave me, this is going to sound silly, maybe. He gave me, it's a little wooden doll. And it has four, instead of little feet, it has four wheels. And they're all based on some type of little curvature. And you had a string. And you would pull it and the dog would kind of wobble. And he, he gave that to me and said, what's this? He said, son, when we adopted you, this was your first toy. So I've held it for, well, 52 years. And here it is. I got that in my, in my house. So it's not just pictures, it's small things, because people hold these things sacred. It means a lot. So when it comes to God, God wanted to do something for us, something that we could remember, something that we could hold dear and sacred and treasure. Sadly, we, we think that that thing that he offered to us is a book, the Bible. But we don't understand if you read the Bible, you never see God saying, remember what I wrote for you. You never hear Jesus saying that. He never stops to say, uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, write this down. Make sure you get it. No, 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 no. He never does that. In fact, when we read sacred scripture, we read the gospels. There's only one time that the writers of the gospels record Jesus writing something. And y'all remember that's when they bring to him the woman who was caught in the act of adultery. And they stand her in front of him. And it says he bends down, he writes on the, on the ground. Scholars, uh, philosophers, teachers, all kinds of people have come up and they said, well, we think he wrote and they'll come up with their theory. What he wrote, no one knows. It's been lost to history. Because it wasn't important. He could have doodled on the on the on the, the ground, drawn a picture of his son in a house. It's not that's not important. So his writing something, his leaving us a memorandum was never important to him. Instead, he'd often say, Hold on to what I say to you. Remember the words that I spoke to you. Actually, those were his lines. Remember the words I spoke to you. And there's only one time when Jesus says specifically, remember. And that's at the Last Supper. When he offers his body and his blood. And he says to his apostles and disciples, do this in memory of me. What is the this? The Eucharist. Offer the bread and wine in his memory. Offer it that he may become visibly present again. Visibly under the appearances of bread and wine. But through the great mystery of transubstantiation, he may become real and present again. That's the one thing that we need to remind ourselves. We can say, and we rightly do, Jesus had the power to change water into wine. Deacon Groves spoke a little of that uh, when he spoke about marriage and that first uh, miracle at the wedding feast of Cana in Galilee, changing water into wine. Jesus has the power to walk on water. We see that. He has the power to heal. He has the power to expel demons. Jesus has all this power to do all these great miraculous things and by far the greatest, the power to rise from the dead. 
So why would he not have the power to say, this piece of bread is no longer bread. This is my body given up for you. Do this in memory of me. This, offer this. And we see that will take place in the early church because they understand the importance of what God gave. Much more than a picture, much more than a toy. He gives himself to us. And that's why, if you remember at the ascension, when Jesus, his last words to his apostles and disciples were, I will be with you always until the end of the age. We think his presence, his incarnational presence, we think of it, he's present in the, the Bible, through the spoken word that we heard in the Missal. You think, well, he's present in the community, the brothers and sisters. But most perfectly, he is present to all of us in the tabernacle. He's so much present in the tabernacle that he will be given to each one of you to become a part of you so that you can become part of him. That unity that he shares in the Trinity is now extended to you so that you may become one with him and one with each other. This week we have the opportunity when did we ever have a group of priests in any parish in the diocese come together and give us beautiful talks on the Eucharist to help us understand the beauty of what God left us? But we have that opportunity this week. Please, please, take some time. Think about coming. If you can't make it because of work or taking care of a loved one, I'll video it and I'll put it on the computer so that you can still listen and be a part of that. I hope that it grows your faith in a little way to appreciate the great gift that God has given you. Why? Because you are God's gift. I know we often say that in a, in a funny condescending way, but they think they're God's gift to the world. Yes, you are. You are God's gift to the world. Never forget that. And he loves you so much, he's gonna give you himself as the greatest gift he can give. The beloved gives to you because you are beloved of him. Y'all have a blessed day today. Now, mighty God be with you. Many bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>
and those who care for them, we pray for the Lord. Lord have mercy. Have mercy. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who will watch this Mass on video, and for the needs of you here present in our church today. Lord. And we pray for all the parishioners of St. Thomas and St. Bridget's, those who are able to attend this weekend to our parish masses, those who for some reason are unable to attend. For all of them, this mass, for all of you, this mass is being offered today. We pray for the Lord. Amen. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise and honor for the blessed Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now and ever shall be, world without end. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For the earth and work of human hands will be done for us, the bread of life. Blessed Blessed God, God. God. Blessed Blessed God. God. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed Blessed God. God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant the Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through me made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you all the people he stretched out his hands to endure his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory. As with one voice, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God is ours. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
Do I need to the Lord to find the ball of leaders? Make holy, therefore, these gifts which pray by sitting down in your spirit upon them like the new ball, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks to broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> the mystery of faith we proclaim the death of the Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. To await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
found on page 90 of your miscellets. We'll read the first verse. To be near God was my happiness. To bless my love in God the Lord. Let us pray. We ask for taking up the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us grace and charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ascended. Go in peace. Amen. Do you mind having a seat, please? At this time, our ushers will take up our second collection for our building and maintenance fund. Thank you for your generosity. Just a reminder, besides the mission that starts tomorrow night here at St. Thomas at 6, uh, in your bulletin you will find that we are going to host the City of Chickasaw's Thanksgiving Ecumenical Service coming up. Uh, I think that's the 21st, if I'm not mistaken. So you're all invited to come back that night if you would like. If it's a Sunday night. To, uh, to be a part of that. Just a, a thing to put in the back of your head. Uh, it would be nice if you're able to come, I understand if you're unable to, but it would be nice if you could because it, it shows people, especially those who have been raised with some of the 
the old wives' tales about Catholics and worshiping statues and all the other stuff that people have believed for years that we're not that way. And we're just kind people. So it's another way to just get that out into the public that we're not uh, what some people assume that we are. Uh, coupled with that, just to let you know, after speaking with the parish council, after my own prayers, uh, starting the first week of December, we will have a new schedule for our weekend masses. Our, our Sunday four o'clock mass, I know y'all voted, I'm sorry, I hate to, to do this and overrule, but our Sunday four o'clock, because now that I have Latin, the first and third weekends of the month, will be moved to Saturday night at four o'clock. Uh, that's the only thing I can do to work in with the schedule of everything. So we'll now, the first weekend of December, we'll move to a Saturday night, four o'clock service, confessions at three, mass at four, and then seven and 11 here will same effect. Bridget's will stay in effect at nine. And then uh, on the first and third weekends of the month, I will have a two o'clock Latin mass at Bridget's. Uh, so we'll do that. And I think that'll work the schedule where I can get everybody taken care of. Uh, Okay, I think that will about accomplish it. So y'all have a blessed day today. Okay, thank thank you. you. Prayer to St. Michael for our uh, parish family. Thank Holy you. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the weakness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praise for protection against storms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed be God. Blessed be all men. Blessed be Jesus Christ, the God of Amen.